Now that you have learned how to uh, identify the different angles of elevation and depression based on the phrasing of a question, we will be looking at some questions found inside your textbook. We will first take a look at practice now one on page 214. So we will first take a look at question one, which talks about the angle of elevation of the top of an office tower of height 43 meters from a point on level ground is 34 degrees. So we want to find the distance of the point on the ground from the foot of the tower. So let's break down this question first. Okay, sometimes in the question itself, it may not give you the diagram. But luckily, in this question, uh, in your textbook, you will find that there is a diagram being provided. Okay, so, uh, let, but let us just run through how, how should we actually draw out this diagram if it had not been given. So we are looking at an office tower, right? Okay, so since we are given office tower, let's just draw a building, vertical building. Okay, so it will stand on level ground. Right? So this office tower has a height of 43 meters. Okay, so the top of the office tower would be here. Okay, and then after that, there is an angle of elevation from the ground. So from the ground, okay, will probably be around here. And the angle of elevation would be this 34 degrees. All right. So the question um, is asking the distance of the point on the level ground from the foot of the tower. So the foot of the tower would be here. And we are actually trying to find out this distance here. Okay. So um, to find out this distance, all right, since we need to understand that the tower will definitely be vertically above the ground, Hence, it will be a 90 degrees angle over here. Okay, so if I were to draw a right angle triangle like that, okay, there will be a 90 degree. So it's a right angle triangle. And with a right angle triangle, we can make use of our trigonometry. Okay, we should always fall back onto our castle for right angle triangle first. All right, although in the previous chapter, we have already covered all the sine rule, cosine rule and all that. But please don't go into the redundant usage. It will be very time consuming. Okay, so um, to find out what is this distance, let us first uh, define this distance for easier presentation. So we let the required distance that the question wants us to find. We let it be d meters. So if it were to be d meters, okay, uh, we notice that the right angle triangle we have on three meters, which is the opposite side of the angle, and we're trying to find the d, which is actually the adjacent side of the angle, right? So therefore, we will be making use of twa, that means using tangent. So writing down the equation, we have tangent thirty four degrees equals to opposite, which is forty three meters over the distance d, right? So doing some manipulation, when we cross multiply, we get d times tangent 34 degrees equals to 43. And then after that, d will be equals to 43 over tangent 34 degrees. So keying this in into our calculator, the truncated 5SF value will be 63.750 meters. Okay, so 3SF, since we're trying to find the final answer now, will be 63.8 meter, okay, uh, it's rounded to 3 SF. All right, so this will be answer for question one. So let's take a look at question two, where we have a lighthouse TL that has a height of 50 meters, the angles of elevation of the top of the lighthouse T from boat A is 48 degrees, and then after that from boat B is 38 degrees respectively. We want to find the distance between boat A and B. So I've drawn out the diagram already. Okay, and the diagram is also being provided in the question itself. Okay, so to find out the distance, all right, let's break down this whole diagram into two different triangles, or in particular, uh, two different right angle triangle. So the first one that I'm seeing is the one that I'm drawing in red over here. So with this red triangle, right, I will be able to deduce that using my Tuacaso, or in fact tangent 48 degrees. I will have the opposite, which is 50 meters, over the adjacent side AL. Okay, so this is the first thing I will be able to deduce from the first right angle triangle. Then after that, right, I will be able to see a second right angle triangle over here that I'm marking out in green, okay, which is the bigger one. 
right? So with the bigger one, okay, I will see that using my Torcaso as well, I will have tangent 38 degrees equals to opposite, which is 50 meters, over the horizontal distance, or rather the adjacent distance, which is LB or BL. Okay, so we need to realize that BL is actually a combination of AL and AB. Right? So let me just uh, manipulate uh, these two equations so that it's later for us to answer the question. We want to find out what is AB. That is our objective. Okay, so I'm highlighting that out. So uh, let me just label equation 1, equation 2. Okay, so from equation 1, I will see that after I cross multiply AL times tangent 48 degrees, it is equal to 50. So AL is equal to 50 over tangent 48 degrees. Right? So 50 over tangent 48 degrees, you may want to actually press your calculator and then you will get a truncated 5SF value 45.020. Okay, so that is the length of AL, right? Or you may actually keep it to exact and then you can do the substitution. So either way of accuracy would be fine, all right? Just that if you go and calculate first, maybe it is easier. So now that we know AL is 45.020, right? So we will sub AL equals to 45.020 into equation 2. Okay, so I will see that tangent 38 degrees equals to 50 over 45.020 plus AB. Alright, so let's do some manipulation. I know that for manipulation, uh, some of you are rather weak in it. Okay, so we are doing cross multiplication. We get 45.020 plus AB, entire denominator, times tangent 38 degrees equals to 50. So then 45.020 plus AB is equals to 50 over tangent 38 degrees. Okay, then after that, AB will be equals to 50 over tangent 38 degrees minus away 45.020. Right? So you can press uh, into your calculator for the entire value and uh, we will be getting 18.977 truncated 5SF. So rounded off to 3SF, we will get 18, oh, sorry, 19.0. Okay, so the length that we want. Okay, the required length. It equals to 19.0 meters. So there you go, that is the answer. So we will now move on to practice now too, found in your textbook, page 216. We will first take a look at question 1. So it says that the Singapore Flyer is an iconic giant observation wheel built on top of a terminal building. So the diameter of the wheel is approximately 150 meters. So we have the diameter here. Okay. Then after that, the highest point of the wheel is about 165 meters above the ground. So there is this 165 given here in the diagram. From the point A at the top of the wheel, so here, our Nora observes that the angle of depression of a sports car C on the ground is 25 degrees. So Nora is actually over here. Okay, Nora is inside this cut. Right? Uh, then after that, the angle of depression listed here 25 degrees. Okay. So in part I, we want to find out the distance of the sports car from a point B, which is on ground level directly below A. Okay, so um, so in the diagram, okay, the distance that we're trying to find is actually this one here. All right, so it's this horizontal distance. All right, um, it says that point B is directly below A. That is helpful because it will tell us that we have a right angle triangle going on. Right, so I'm drawing out in red here, okay, like this. Right, so but then with this triangle, triangle, we don't have much information, okay. Uh, and then after that, uh, that what about how are we supposed to get information into this triangle? So, uh, the the twenty five degrees given, right, okay, will mean that 
with alternate angles down here will be 25 degrees. Okay, because this horizontal this is horizontal line and this is horizontal line. So they are going to be parallel. So we have 25 degrees inside the triangle now. Now regarding this length here, can you tell me what is the vertical distance that we should be taking? Should it be 150 meters or 165 meters? Think about that first. Okay, the answer should be that this uh, vertical distance should actually be 165 meters because it is all the way from point A all the way to the ground level, which is B. So we should be taking 165. 150 is only the diameter of the wheel. Okay, so if I were to draw a smaller right angle triangle out to see things easier, we have 25 degrees here and 165 meters here. Okay, so we are trying to find out what is this distance. So with this, uh, we will be able to recognize that we are going to use tangent okay, out to our castle. So let us uh, have tangent 25 degrees equals to opposite, which is 165 meters. Over the adjacent, the adjacent distance is actually BC because from point B to point C. Okay, so cross multiplying BC times tangent 25 degrees equals to 165. Hence, tang uh, BC is equal to 165 divided by tangent 25 degrees. Right? Taking that into the calculator, we will get 353.84 meters in truncated 5SF. So, final answer will be 354 okay? meters in 3SF. Right? So, that will be answer for part I. Moving on to part two, the question wants us to find the angle of depression of the sports car from the center of the wheel instead. All right, so let me just go back to the diagram. Okay, so uh, let me just erase the previous working so that we have a clean diagram to illustrate on. Okay, so question one is the angle of depression of the sports car from the center of the wheel. The center of the wheel is actually uh, over here. Let me mark it up. Okay, this is the center of the wheel. Okay, we want the angle of depression. So imagine someone is inside the center of the wheel. Uh, all right, although not quite feasible. Okay, so uh, we will take the horizontal line here. Okay, and then we want the angle of depression. So looking down. Okay, to point C, which is where the sports car is. We're trying to find out why it's this angle. Alright? So, whenever we're doing with, uh, dealing with angle of depression, angle of uh, uh, elevation, okay, we will make use of right angle triangles. So, we can make use of this right angle triangle if you want to. Okay, this is also possible. Or else, you may want to also choose to go downwards. Right, and take into consideration this one. So the angle that you're trying to find is actually the same as this one because of alternate angles, parallel lines. Right. So um, moving on, okay, to answer this question, uh, we want to find out what is the angle, but we need more information. Okay, we need to know more about the length. We already have found out what is the length of BC. So the length of BC, we found that it was actually 353.84. So take note that we should be using the truncated 5SF value, right? So 353.84 meters, right? And then after that, what about this distance here? Do we know what is this distance? Okay, the answer is yes, right? Because the question tells us that the total distance is 165 from the top to the bottom, and we have the diameter 150. So to know what is this distance, we will just take 165 minus away this distance which is the radius of the wheel. Okay, so with all these ideas that we are getting, let me just put it down in two words. Okay, so the radius is actually 150 divided by 2, which is 75 meters. Okay, so the height above ground Is actually, uh, or rather, the height 
from the center. to ground will actually be 165 minus a raised 75 meters as mentioned earlier. Okay, and that will actually be 90 meters. So let us let this angle that we are trying to find be theta degrees. So using our Tua Caso, which is tangent, okay, tangent theta will be equals to the opposite. Okay, let me refer back to the diagram. So if we were to make use of the blue triangle, okay, theta is over here, so this is now 75 meters. So this is 90 meters. Okay, and then after that, the adjacent is 353.84. Alright, so opposite 90, adjacent 353.84. Okay, so uh, keeping that into our calculator, you may go and find out what is the value of this ratio first. Okay, or else you can go and take tangent inverse to find out what is the value for theta. Right, and that will give us final answer to be 14.270 degrees or 14.3 degrees left to one decimal place. Take note that it should be one decimal place and not three significant figures because this is an angle. Okay in degrees. So therefore, accuracy should be left to 1 degree. Right? So that's it for question 1. Let's take a look at question 2 now. Right, the question says that from the top of a cliff 52 meters high, the angles of depression of two ships A and B due east of it are 36 degrees and 24 degrees respectively. So it is the ships are actually due east of the cliff itself. So that's why the ships are on the right side. Okay, so the diagram has been provided. Alright, in this question, they want you to find out the distance between the two ships. Okay, so that will mean that we are going to find what is this distance here. Okay, so to find out what is this distance, likewise, we will make use of right angle triangles or precisely we're going to make use of Tuakaso to uh, form some equations just like how we did it for question 2 in practice now 1. Okay, so um, let's just do some transferring of the angles first. So since we have a 24 degrees here, by our alternate angles, okay, uh, we have this horizontal line and then this 24 degrees is leading on this uh, diagonal line and then we have this other horizontal line as well. So that will mean that 24 degrees is here. Okay, so likewise, 36 degrees. Okay, uh, if I were to have this horizontal line, this diagonal line, which supports the 36 degrees, and this horizontal line, we will be able to transfer the 36 degrees here. Right, so now we will have two right angle triangles, one which is the smaller one that I'm highlighting in blue. Okay, and that will give us one equation, which is tangent. 36 degrees equals to opposite 52 meters over the adjacent. Okay, so the adjacent of we are missing out this part here. Let me just label it as F for convenience. Okay, so let me rewrite. Okay, we will let the foot of the cliff be F. So uh we were saying that tangent 36 degrees equals to opposite, which is 52 meters, over the adjacent AF. Okay. Then after that, using the red right angle triangle now, right, let me just, which is the bigger one, okay, I will be able to generate another equation, tangent 24 degrees equals to opposite, which is 52 meters as well, over the adjacent, which is going to be BF. 
So take note that BF is a combination of AF and AB. Right? So the, the way that we are going to answer this question is exactly the same as how we did it for practice now one question two already. Okay, so you may want to pause this video now to give your give it a try on your own. Otherwise, I will continue with going through the working. Okay, so we got one equation one and equation two. Right, so from equation one, we will get AF times tangent 36 degrees equals to 52. And so AF is equals to 52 over tangent 36. So just like before, you can press the calculator for the truncated 5SS back. 5SF value, otherwise you can keep it to be this exact 52 over tangent 36. So let me give that a try to keep it as exact first. Alright, so uh, AF equals to this, then now from equation 2, let me just make things neater, okay, I will do a cross multiplication first, so tangent 24 degrees times AF plus AB equals to 52. Let's just do some re rearranging before I do the substitution. Okay, so AF plus AB will be equal to 52 over tangent 24. Right, it is up to you uh, depending on what kind of manipulation you want to choose. Okay, just ensure that your algebraic manipulation is correctly done. Alright, so now we have this equation 3. Okay, or rather let me that is equation 3, equation 4. Okay, so Sub 3 in 4, I will have 52 over tangent 36 degrees plus AB equals to 52 over tangent 24 degrees. So AB will be 52 over tangent 24 degrees minus 52 over tangent 36 degrees. Right? Uh, so now I can press into my calculator and I will be getting 45.222. Okay, and so final answer will be 45.2 meter 3 SF. Right, so that will be how we answer question 2. So we have now come to the last question that I would like to cover for this chapter 7.1, uh, which is exercise 7a question 13 found in your textbook page 218. Okay, so the question talks about this flat pole that is on uh, top of the building and then you're given some angle of elevation. So all the information is illustrated in this diagram here. The more accurate diagram is found inside your textbook as well. Okay, so we want to find the value of H. Okay, so the value of H, H is actually over here. Okay, we want to find that out. Right, we will make use of the uh, the triangles. Okay, so there are two right angle triangles that we can see. The first one is this here that I'm highlighting in red. Okay, then after that, the other one is the one that I'm highlighting in blue. So let's use a similar concept to what we have covered in the previous question. So in the first right angle triangle, right, the one in red, okay, we can see that tangent 26 degrees is equal to opposite, which is h meters, over an adjacent distance. Okay, it seems like the adjacent distance, which is this one here, does not have much labeling. So let me label it as d meters. Okay, so let's clearly define that. Let me erase this. So let the horizontal distance from C to the foot of the tower, or rather the building, to the foot of the building, be D meters. So that will mean that uh, Tangent, so going back to what we were saying earlier, tangent 26 degrees equals to h over d. Okay, 
there is not much information, no, no information about the D meters or the H meters. In fact, they only told you that the height of the flagpole is 12.2 meters. Okay, but never mind, don't worry. Okay, so in the next bigger right angle triangle, we have tangent 35 degrees. Okay, so let me scroll back up. Tangent 35 degrees equals to opposite. So the opposite length is actually 12.2 plus H. Okay, so 12.2 plus H. Over the same uh, horizontal distance, okay, or rather the adjacent distance, which is D. Okay, so we've got two equations over here. Personally, I don't usually like fractions, so I always like to cross multiply them. Okay, so for equation one, let's just do that. D times tangent 26 degrees equals to H. And from equation two, we will get D times tangent 35 degrees equals to 12.2 plus H. So we have two unknowns and two equations. What this tells me is that I can do simultaneous equation solving. We are trying to find out the value of uh, H over here. Okay, so what you may choose to do is to maybe substitute in equation 3 into equation 4. So H is D times tangent 26. So therefore, I can get this equation with only D. Okay, so I will transfer those that have D over to one side of the equation. Then following from there, I will factorize out D. Then I can divide tangent 35 minus tangent 26. So D is equal to 12.2 divided by tangent 35 degrees minus tangent 26 degrees. You may compute for a value for D, leaving it to truncated 5SF, taking note of that. So uh, if we were to do that, we will get the answer to be 57.418. Okay, then the question doesn't want us to find D. We are trying to find H. Don't forget that. So let D equals to 57.418 into equation 3, okay, which was D tangent 26 degrees. So H is equal to 57.418 times tangent 26 degrees. Okay, so uh, with this, we will get the value for H and that is 28.0 meters. Right? So that's all for question 13.